<laughs> that's right. You could power a clock or whatever, a light bulb. Yeah. What is that classic science project? Light bulb a to radio a radio or something? A radio? Like a like a car? Probably power my, my yogurt clock. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, potatoes, they're fascinating creatures. I, I think of them as living, living, because they are living. I suppose they are, like a uh, tree. And they have eyes. Mm. And, uh, you know, in the oh, classic watching. Goosebumps episode uh, and book, uh, it came from beneath the sink, the ending of that, spoilers, uh, there's a potato <laughs> with uh, some horribly gnarled teeth. Uh, oh. and that was a that was a creature, and I believe that's a that's that's fact. That is fact. Arl Stein took that from fact. <laughs> that there was a potato with teeth living underneath the sink. Potato monsters, yeah. Sounds like Arl Stein uh, just forgot they had potatoes under the sink for a while and was like, "Oh, that's another book I got to come up with now." Is a couple of red herrings and an ending. <laughs> Check please. It's <laughs> like hmm hmm. Potato Monster. Yeah, yeah. Done. Done. That's number 56 of the Goosebumps series. R- write, uh, write that up. Scholastic <laughs> check in the mail. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some of those books were a little a little weak, but... Uh... I felt like I only jumped aboard the Goosebumps uh, bandwagon once they had gone past their... They were past their prime. When they started doing the, the choose your own adventure, that's when I was I was not happy with them because I'm like, no, I want you to tell me what adventure. Just tell me the story happen, that's yeah. good. Don't don't let me make some bad decisions. I'm a child because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm wasting my time because I'm reading I'm reading stories that maybe I would like to see and then oh, uh, your parents come and pick you up because it's dinner time. End of story. Great. Now I have to backtrack. And That's true. That's true. In in a Goosebumps uh, Choose Your Own Adventure, I would often – because you're reading the book and you know that they're going to make some irrational decisions that lead to where you ultimately lead in the story. But I would be like, well, no, don't do that. That's crazy. That's what's going to get you in trouble. Do the simple, the safe thing. And then <laughs> – no you know, the, and then you flip to page ninety eight, and that's the last page of the story. And you go, okay, well, I just read a twelve page story. <laughs> Why did I buy a eight dollar book for a twelve page story? Let's go read the other options now. Yeah, it's like, it's like going down a maze and finding dead ends, and going, well, it's time to backtrack. You got to keep going back and going down different paths. I feel like you should just rip all the pages out, put them put them on like a board in your in your basement. Draw, you know, put strings from one to another, and just well, you would need you would need even two copies of the book to do that. Oh, double sided, double sided page, yeah. pages. Jesus, all right. It's getting expensive. Where does wow. it end? <laughs> Where does it end? <laughs> all right, Matthew. Let's let's get to your real thoughts on the burger itself. You ate it. You seem pretty concerned about the size of it. Not a big fan of Susie Q fries. Uh, 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 you for some reason don't like the depth of the restaurant. When when it comes down to the burger, and you got to rate that burger, what are you thinking? Well, am I rating the burger right now, or am I thinking about the criteria that will will affect the rating? You know, I feel like it's been a while since you guys have explained the rating system. I think that's a good point. That's a good point, Alex. (laughs) Um, So, uh, our rating system, because even while we were eating, Alex is a regular listener, and he was thinking uh, he was going to use a a five-star scale. Who knows? Was it a four-star, five-star? It doesn't matter. He wanted to use stars. Yeah, I was unclear. Uh, Because we haven't reminded our listenership in a while. It's a 10-point rating. Uh, one is a poison burger. Okay. 10 is a $100 burger. One hundo. One hundo. So it's worth $100? No. Oh. It's a <laughs> burger that, to you, is valued at $100. Not a real, not that you, not that you'd shell out $100, but when you eat it, you know, like when you feel like a million bucks, the burger equivalent of that, this burger tastes like 100 bucks. Uh, uh, so between poison and hundred, it's just fine. Number five, it's just a fine burger. And then you could kind of figure it out from there. You know, uh, between five and ten is good. Uh, between poison and fine is not good. What's That'd probably a three? be a three. Yeah, I'd say that's not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well then, all right. Obviously, I ordered my burger as plain as possible. I said, no tomatoes. They told me tomatoes are on the side. I was like, okay, can I not have them? On <laughs> can the you side? just keep them in the back? Yeah. Uh, I still got a tomato on the side. It was touching the lettuce. 
So that whole lettuce had to be discarded. Uh, now, Matthew, hold on. You like just the? It's not like you're. Maybe you should start telling restaurants that you're allergic to tomatoes. Yeah, they might take your distaste of tomatoes a little more seriously. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but I don't know if it's a real allergy. So, well, well I think it could be an allergy. It's it's mm. it, no, uh, yeah, uh, to, you can absolutely be allergic to tomatoes. It wouldn't be a real allergy because you just don't like tomatoes. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fly because I'm still gonna ask for ketchup. <laughs> it's, it's... <laughs> no, no, that works. That works because at that point it's been processed, and some people are allergic only to certain fresh vegetables. So you're you're you'd be fine there. I shouldn't have to resort to lying. No, you're right. That's you're true. Right. That is yeah. absolutely true. You're a pain customer. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, the burger I got it really did feel like a slider. And I ate that puppy real quick and was still hungry. Ate the fries, even though I didn't like them, uh, because I was so hungry. And I paid, I don't know, $14, $15. Um, the burger was not cooked to my liking. I said medium. I was hoping it would still be pink in there, and it was not pink. Um, I've only eaten there one other time and didn't have a great time then either. Uh the steer on the cover, uh, on the on the front of the store, looks he's, like an alien. Why do Why I do you say like that? that? He's he's a, he's a, a bull with a, a cowboy hat, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's something something up with him. It looks like a I don't know. It's the black eyes. His eyes are too black. I'd like it if he had white eyes with little black pupils, but his eyes are like. Well, he's not a cartoon. He's a steer. When was the last time you saw a cow, Matthew? Well, you know, I I'm just saying. I it's if a you preference. see the I'm white not... of a cow's eyes, it is alarming. <laughs> <laughs> because it is probably in great pain or fear or some such. Well, as it should be, because this this cow, this steer is... Uh, well, it's about to be my lunch. Yeah, that's... And he's wearing a hat. <laughs> it's... Uh, anyway, that's Seems not going to affect it. I'm going to rate that burger. And then eat it. And then <laughs> do whatever uh, they do to kill that and how they kill it. I'm going to just give it a five. Really? Yeah. Well, based on the size, like the taste of the burger was pretty good. I would give that burger a 6.5 based on taste, um, though it now, wasn't cooked to, to my uh, understanding of what medium should be. Uh, sure. But the size of it, it's like, I'm not going to go there if I want a burger. Now, Matthew, a couple weeks ago, we on the show uh, talked about a little movie called Good Burger, and I felt like part of the lesson in that movie, w uh, where they genetically modified their hamburger patties to be bigger, was that bigger is not necessarily better but I feel like the size factor on this burger is having an enormous influence on your rating. Okay, well, if we're going to talk about Good Burger, let's go over the plot. Oh, no. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, okay, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah, but th those burgers were, were abnormally large and looked like there was a lot of just weight, you know, garbage weight in there. I don't know what it was. It they didn't, they, they didn't looked look like right. they were just simply inflated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this burger was just it was too, too small. And I saw someone else. Um, I saw someone else across from me eating a burger that looked like a full-size, hefty burger. I had that exact same experience today with Alex. And I was like, what are they ordering? I wanted to ask him. I was like, what, what, how did you – who do you know? <laughs> who gave you, <laughs> give you such a such I a just normal figured Alex, burger. Alex is a regular here. They, they give him the, the good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Alex, you had a full-size burger? I had a full-size burger. Now, now explain. How did you get that? It's on the other <laughs> side. Of, it's on the other page. Just open the menu <laughs> up <laughs> and, and you point at that one. Yeah. There's a page with the small burgers, and then there's a page with the regular size burgers. Well, you know, experience, I guess, would would help. help yeah, maybe that's that's out. part of it. Yeah. Um, so Alex, uh, you know, a veteran of Mr. Steer, uh, had a full size burger. What did you think of your burger today? Now, <clears throat> tasty burger. I like the taste of the meat. I like uh, I like those prepared patties like that. I don't like those frozen patties. Um, to me, that's just a waste of money. I go somewhere, I get a burger with some of those frozen patties. So right away, it's, you're starting off with a good score for being a real patty, mm -hmm. like a meatball type of patty. Um, I don't know if this is fair to factor factor this in. Well, first off, the wait was longer than I expected for a burger. Mm -hmm. um, not that I was in a rush. I guess we were a bit of a rush, but that's, you know. You know, just I mean, still felt, <clears throat> even if we weren't in a rush, felt like a bit longer of a wait than it needed Usually to be. for a burger, burger in, in my books is considered fast food. Yeah. I know it's a sit-down restaurant and what yeah. have you, but it's still just a burger. It's not a complicated thing to prepare. No. What's the wait? It seems like they're un unprepared, you know? It wasn't that busy in there. Nope. And it's a huge and place. It's you think they'd be ready. Yeah. 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 Um, and I feel like, again, this is the part I'm not sure is fair or not, but I feel like I always forget how expensive it is. Get my bill, and it's like, whoa. 
I thought I just had a burger. I had two coffees and a burger. What, what is this? And fries and you know, yeah. lettuce. Um, so I like how you called your salad lettuce because that's basically what that's it was. That's all it was, yeah. lettuce and, and some French dressing. Carrots, yeah. you know, French dressing. Um, service was whatever. I had nothing against her, but it wasn't like a great experience. Like wasn't like a remarkable experience. Um, we, we got, you didn't, yeah, you gave your rating. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, a would be cheating Mr. Steer if I went lower than the eight. I feel like if we had done this a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago, I would have given it a nine. Mm-hmm. Um, but not considering know. that a nine is just shy of a hundred dollar burger. Do you feel that strongly about Mr. Steer burger? Well, listen, it was 20 bucks. That's one, one fifth of the way to being a hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. Well, that way, I mean, it's a pricey burger. Sure. So that would give it a two. That would, give... <laughs> mathematically speaking. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right there. Uh, that's just math. Um, yeah. I mean, just compared to other burgers in the city, I feel like it's a tasty patty, and that goes a long way for me. The quality of the patty. Uh, now that I think of it, the bread, I don't even remember what the bread was like, the bun was like. Um, you, I did notice I, I had a, a, a plainer bun for my smaller burger, but you had a, you had a sesame seed did bun. Did I? Yeah. See, didn't notice that at all, so it wasn't, it wasn't a remarkable bun either. I think I'm going to give it a 7.5. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> I, I would like one day to maybe take home one of those meatballs. Uh, they say you can take home. And cook at your leisure. Uh, oh, really? You can order just the the the, the patty to be eaten uh, at home. That's interesting. Well, they're actually advertising them as meatballs. The, oh, really? The meat, and I'm thinking I can just slap some meatballs together. I got a burger. Well, um, no. I mean, they they no. I know they I have know. a special preparation. But to I want to I want to see what it's like if I cook it. Maybe that'll be a little side project. Oh, I've got an idea for an episode now where uh, we can maybe have a, a burger off of uh, pre-purchased uh, burger patties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, uh, a, of a certain locations. quality, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so I was sitting there. I finished my burger. Alex was still working on his normal-sized burger. And I was leaning back thinking, how am I going to score this burger? Uh, should I really factor in my inability to uh, properly understand the menu? I think I will a little bit. Um, uh, uh, should I really factor in uh, the fact that the slice of tomato that they put on my burger... It's one of those end slices where there's still a little bit of the 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 base of the the leaf, the stem. Uh, so there's that hard kind of not easy to chew bit of the tomato. Not a primo I'm, slice. No, not a primo slice. Not the, the, not a sixteen dollar burger slice. Literally a slice that when I'm at home, I throw in the garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, a garbage slice. And so, <laughs> and so um, when I did bite into that burger, I was impressed by the thickness of the patty. Even though it's a small burger, I was impressed by the flavor of the meat. It was really good. The bacon, it was cooked to perfection. Really nice piece of bacon. Um, but other than that, not a very notable burger. I feel like this is a, an ideal candidate for a burger to buy the patty and take it home and make it yourself and do a better job. I don't know how much that patty costs. I'm sure it's not cheap, but I'm, I doubt it's prohibitively expensive. Um you know, I got a bill at the end of my meal for twenty dollars, just about just just shy of twenty dollars uh, for you know a small hamburger, a pot of twisted uh, uh, French fries, and uh, and a coffee. Do I think it was worth that much? No. Would I pay that much again? Yeah, probably will one time. Um, but but I can, in good consciousness, uh, give this burger. Uh, a seven or higher. It's below seven. I'm thinking I might go a six point five. Oh, maybe nah. nah I'm talking myself out. It's six. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was all you know. Halfway between good and fine. It was. It was an all right burger. The the patty is good. It's a little expensive for what it is. But you know what? When it's in your mouth and you're chewing, it's, it's pretty all right then. All right, all right. I I, I agree with your rating. Oh, I mean, we just had a a, a bit of a. A, a spread there. Yeah, yeah. So I gave it a five. You gave it a six. A and... six. And Alex said seven point five. All right. All right. That's... So they're pretty. It's pretty close. Yeah. 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 Now, Alex, um, Al, 
<laughs> second uh, second member of Shaddai we've had on this <laughs> on this show. Oh.